Hey, this is the C D channel. I'm Chris. This is Dave, and this is MMA for you. Uh, we're going to be doing our predictions for the UFC 130 Edgar versus Maynard, number three, which is going to happen on May 28th. Uh, but before we get into that, though, I would like to uh, thank our sponsors: uh, GoBusiness123.com, uh, Demarca Sunglasses, uh, and Laguna Beach. Please support your local mom and pop shops. Demarca Sunglasses. Yep. Where you can get your sunglasses in original gold price. Yeah. And speaking of getting cool sunglasses, like I'm wearing. Um, okay, I know you, you probably to go to shopping again in DemarcaUSA.com. Yeah, how did you know? What kind of taste is this? What do you mean, man? It's Wayfarer glasses, man. It's a it's the same color that like that hottie Katy Perry wears. You know, I, but, I, like I I don't listen to music, but I think she's hot as hell. You know? Dude, I'm speechless, man. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why. Last time I was holding these sunglasses, I would. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you're really gonna wear it. But anyway, yeah. man, let's just go on. I mean, if anything, you can wear this lady, lady Gaga sunglasses, right? Okay. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. I was joking. Uh -huh. I need to stop doing this. Okay, let's continue. Oh, okay. Get rid of your sunglasses. Okay. God, who wears sunglasses in the in the? Continue. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get to this. Uh, we got a prelim card here as uh, let's, as Mighty Mouse Demetrius Johnson is going to fight Renan Barra. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with Mighty Mouse uh, Demetrius Johnson to win this one. He's, he's been on a streak, beat Demacio Page recently, mm -hmm. beat Yamamoto pretty recently. Mm -hmm. But Renan Barra is someone to watch out for. He's a really good prospect in his own right. And this could actually go either way, but I am going to go with Demetrius Johnson to win this. Okay. Next fight after that is Chris Cariasso versus Anarufumi Kid Yamamoto. Mm -hmm. uh, gotta go with Kid Yamamoto to yeah. win this one. Yamamoto. All the way. All yeah. the way. And this is more of a biased pick than anything else. Well, you know, <laughs> I can't help it, sorry. Okay, yeah. next fight after that is Bart Palaszewski versus Cody McKenzie. Uh, gotta go with Palaszewski here. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I like McKenzie. Liked him from the Ultimate Fighter. He has a really good guillotine, but that's all he has. He looked pretty good against Eve Edwards, but I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think he should be fighting on uh, somewhere like the Strikeforce Challenger Series or something. He's still way too raw to be fighting in the UFC at this time. Okay. Um, Fair so, enough. Yeah. And after that, we got uh, Tim the Barbarian Boach making his uh, UFC middleweight debut against Kendall the Spider Grove. Um, I would actually go with Boach if this was in 205, but I'm going to go with Kendall Grove to win this one. He's fought at 185 before, and Boach is going to make his first weight cut down. My concern is simple. Kendall Grove does not have the best chin. Tim Boach, it's very hard. <laughs> so that's, my, that's a big concern of mine. Fail. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get to the Spike prelim card as Brad Pickett is going to fight Miguel Angel Torres. Mm -hmm. Got to go with Miguel Torres in this. Uh, he uh, just beat his last opponent, utilizing a really good jab. He has a much more disciplined approach to his fighting and his training on, in a TriStar, if I'm not mistaken, under Zahavi, I think. For Zahavi, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And um, he's like, a lot more disciplined. He, it doesn't seem like he's going to brawl a lot like he used to. Uh, Brad Pickett, good fighter. He beat Ivan Mendebar in his last fight, but um, I just got to go with uh, Miguel Torres to win this one. Okay. Right. Next fight after that is we got the pit bull, Tiago mm -hmm. Alves versus Rick the Horror Story. Tiago uh, all the way. Yeah. Oh, Tiago Alves. Yeah, man. All the way. All the way. Um, Rick Story, though, is on a streak. I mean, he just beat a really tough Johnny Hendricks. Um, you know, he, he puts a lot of pressure on his opponents. He's a big guy. He wrestles as well. When he gets a guy against a cage, he'll just start punching the guy's body. Many arm punches, but still. Um, but but Diego gives pressure. Diego is all well-rounded. He's good with striking. He's leg kicking. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Diego. Yeah, Alves, all, you know... He wants a John Howard fight. His counter punch is really good. I think whatever punches Rick Story does on Alves, it, they're, it's still not the cleanest technique, and Tiago can expose that as shown with the John Howard fight. Yeah, and the, the, the you know, Alves have a really good counter counter attack too. So yeah, 
Exactly. And the other thing is, though, if Rick Story should win, he will break into that top ten, though. Um, that's so the he, thing. He's going to go all the way, right? Yeah. So, you know, it'll be a very interesting fight in my Do or die. Do or die, I guess, for him. But, um, so let's get to the main card. We got the returning Jorge Santiago versus Brian, the American war hero, Stan. Jorge uh, Santiago. You know, Jorge Santiago, man, he just had a, a fight of the year against Kazuo Misaki back in Sengoku. He went five rounds. He was behind and won in the fifth round. He is a, he's had amazing fights with him. Amazing. Brian Stan, though, man, he hits hard, and he just KO'd Chris Lieben. And here's the thing. Only two people can say they knocked out Chris Lieben. One of them is Anderson Silva. The other guy is Brian Stan. That scares me. Mm. That does, but I don't know. I, I like a Jorge. Come on. No, no, he's good, man. Uh, you know, he's good. He's got a lot of experience, man. Brian Stan is still a prospect in that division, though. But he, we'll see how he, he does. He knocked out the yeah. impossible. Yeah, I know. I don't know, man. It's going to be a good fight to watch for sure. Yeah. All right, next. Next fight, we got some heavyweights as Travis Happa Brown is going to fight the skyscraper, Stefan Screw. Travis Brown. Yeah, it's Travis Brown. Uh, Stephen Struve, he won his last fight against, uh, was it McCorkle? I'm not too sure. Jeez, I forgot. Or Moorcraft. I, I think it's McCorkle. Um, and then Travis Brown went to that draw against Chet Congo. Travis Brown, he, my concern with him is that he has a bad gas tank. Uh -huh. If he doesn't win in the first round, he That's tanks a gas. <laughs> However, Seven Stroop is really tall, and so is Travis Brown, and Seven Stroop takes hits like none other. I mean, the guy has bad defense, and Travis Brown is a one-hit quitter, a yeah. one-hitter quitter. Travis Brown hits hard, so yeah. we will see. We'll see. Yeah, next right after that, we got big country Roy Nelson versus Frank Mir. I, I don't care what you say, Roy Nelson all the way. I'm gonna go with Mir here, but... What yeah. was you do, Roy Nelson, man? Roy Nelson's good with, uh, you know, jiu-jitsu, grappling, you know, striking. By the way, did, did, did Roy Nelson kick your, uh, kick your boy's butt? <laughs> he what? lost his last fight against uh, Junior DeSantos. <laughs> on the grappling contest, right? Oh, yeah. Roy Nelson did beat Frank Mir in a grappling competition. Um, you can find that somewhere on YouTube. Uh, the thing is, he's... Roy Nelson and I, you know, both of these guys are pretty much in the same place. I know. Um, pretty much Frank Mir's lost to like Shane Cohen and Brock Lesnar, whereas Ron Nelson has lost like Junior DeSantos. He can't yeah. quite break through that very top. It's uh, unfortunate, but they are so good though. Yeah, they, they are pretty good for the skills that they have. Both have good jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. Their hand, they, they have shown some decent hands. Um, Roy a little better than mm -hmm. Mir at this Roy, point. Roy is a little bit better. Uh, he's knocked out uh, Seven Shrew and Brendan Shaw. Brendan Shaw is a tough guy these days. Frank Mir just beat uh, Crow Cop. Um, he has beaten guys like Chuck Congo in like just a little over a minute. So both of these guys definitely bring a lot to the table. Very similar fighters. It's going to be a very interesting fight. Yeah. And the next fight after that is the coming event of the evening as Matt the Hammer Hound is going to fight Quentin Rampage Jackson. I know who you're going to pick, Matt. You know, I like Mel, but dude, I got to go with Rampage. Dude, that guy's gonna go down. Red Page gotta kick his butt. I mean, I know Matt can take hit, but Red Page can take more hit. Yeah, man. Rampage, I mean, when he fought Henderson, he was staying standing. Even when uh, Machida in that third round, you know, staggered him, he wouldn't actually go down. He actually went down because of a Machida takedown mm -hmm. uh, after the flurry in the thir beginning of the third round. I think Rampage has a better boxing, he has great takedown defense, and he has just as good of a chin as Matt Hamill does. But it'll be interesting to see Matt actually fall down, it's like a huge tree falling down. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, really interesting, but um, you gotta go with Rampage, and I think if he wins, I think he's gonna get the winner of Johnny Bones Jones versus Sugar Rashad Evans. That's actually pretty far already, yeah. pretty amazing. I think he's gonna get it though. Wow. Okay. Uh, if he wins. Matt yeah. event. 
Main event of the evening has Frankie the Answer Edgar versus Gray the Bully Maynard, and this is their third encounter. Frankie all the way. It's going to be a nice domination by Frankie. I think Frankie has got the answer for the bully. I think despite, you know, in their second fight when they went five rounds, yeah, Frankie got staggered, got a 10-8 round, possible 10-7 round. But, you know, I just don't think that will happen again. Oh, but look, when Frankie fought with the BJ Penn, I mean, BJ Penn did really good on the first fight, and look what happened second fight. Mm -hmm. Frankie dominated. This is this guy's quick. He learns quick, too, you know? Good point. Great point there. Very true. He's a resilient guy. And this is a guy that was that got a 10-8, possibly 10-7 round, went back in the second round, somewhere around the second or third, picks Gray up and slant on his shoulder and slams the guy. He was out wrestling Gray Maynard even though he's a, he's a smaller guy. I mean, Look at his size. Look at Maynard's size. It's just, I can't believe what happened. Yeah. Maynard, uh, I think this will be uh, another great fight, but I think Frankie Edgar is going to take this. I actually have a feeling that Maynard might actually go with a more wrestling-centric strategy oh. in this one. Um, as opposed to more stand up in the first one. So what do you think uh, that will do? I think that I don't think I'll do much. I, I think that Frankie still has the capability of defending the takedowns. Okay. Uh, he moves laterally, so it's going to make it that much harder for Maynard to get him. And you know, Frankie has really quick striking. You know, in and out, in and out. I, I don't know if Maynard will be able to get his hands on him. So you're saying Maynard is dumb? There's no way he can beat Edgar? <laughs> Not him. no way, of course. Maynard definitely has a good, really good chance to beat Edgar. I just think How? Edgar at this point. Uh, decision. You oh, know, okay. I think he'll take him down. Um, I think he'll win on points. I don't think he'll knock him out or like oh, submit him or anything. Okay. Um, you know. Definitely going to be a good fight. Yeah, I'll be a really good fight. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for the... Uh, predictions for the UFC 130. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Also, it would be greatly appreciated and help us out a lot if you can like this page. Or subscribe, or su please. Yeah, or subscribe. We have we have like weekly MMA content on here. So Thank you so yeah. much. Truly yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. And then uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors again. Uh, GoBusiness123.com uh, DeMarcus Sunglasses Boutique and Laguna Beach. Help mom and pop show, and also help us. We are small mom and pop too, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> on you know. YouTube, <laughs> and of course, uh, Demarca sunglasses. Do you have to do this? Yeah. www.demarcausa.com. All right. Take care. See ya. Let's go. This Bye. This is it for MMA for you. Thank you, guys.